Hi, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for May. This is a spiritual energy read along with a tarot card read. So you're going to see the uh, spirit coming through in a lot of this. It takes me a minute sometimes to warm up and get the understanding, but watch till the end because there will definitely be spiritual revelation coming through. Okay. I'm going to do the Celtic cross today. Hmm. You've got the hanged man at the center of your energies. Crossing that is the King of Pentacles. Uh, there's deja vu already for me here. Deja vu. Okay. The star is your foundation. You've got the Six of Swords in your past energies. Ace of Pentacles in your crown. And the judgment card in your future. Very interesting. Okay, let's see what story the spirit wants to tell today. Okay, the hanged man. Um, I don't do reversals, you guys. It's just whatever the spirit brings to me. So, Virgo, hanged man. Okay, um, first I, I want to... I've been talking a lot about uh, feminine and masculine energies on my channel, okay? So I think, first of all, let me tell you that I think that we're coming to a place where there's going to be a better balance between the feminine and the masculine on earth. <clears throat> um, I see this for you as the feminine side of you, okay? The feminine side of you we're going to talk about right now. Um I feel like I'm trying to read the sun, the halo, his aura. I'm trying to read his aura here. Okay. I, I almost feel like this is a type of pride, but not in a bad way. Okay. Pride. Almost uh, flame, flamboyance. Okay. And... I almost feel like you have tricks up your sleeve, okay? You're hiding your hands behind your back. So what is it about this feminine side of you that you have not shown, even though I think you're kind of known for that feminine flair is the word, feminine flair, okay? But there's something, there's something that you have not yet revealed. And with the hanged man, it would mean that it hasn't been time for you to reveal something yet, but possibly May is going to be the time for you, okay? You're holding your cards behind your back is what I'm hearing. Holding your cards behind your back, okay? Okay, King of Pentacles. Um, and this is crossing you. So you're... This is, I think you're waiting for the perfect moment and there, you already have the resources. You don't think that you have the resources to show your cards. Um, you've placed a bet and the money's in the pot and you don't think that you've got the hand. Okay. This is what I'm hearing. You don't think that you've got the hand. You think that somebody else holds the full house, okay? Where I think that you are actually holding the full house, that it's time now. And this is why this is coming through. Okay. Foundational energies. Okay. So this is what this is saying to me. You have already put your resources. You've already pooled all of your resources. All, all of your resources are in the pool, in the middle of the pot, in the middle of the poker table. You've already done the work. You've already done the work. And I, I don't think you, that you're trusting in that. Okay. This is saying you've already done the work and you need to trust that because... The spirit has got your back here. Okay. This, this is all you've worked for 
you've worked hard at it and it's it's at hand. I don't know if that's a poker pun or not. It's at hand. It's at hand. That's what I'm hearing. It's it's at hand. This this thing that you're hiding. Okay? Interesting. Okay. So you've got the six of wands. Um, I, all I see with this is hesitation because you don't think that everybody's on board. Okay. Um, I don't know if you feel like this is selfish. Um, And that other people aren't ready. Okay. I'm trying to read the woman. Um, you know, I wonder if, if it doesn't matter. <laughs> I wonder if the people around you would ever be on board. Okay. It, it, that doesn't matter to you. It shouldn't matter to you. You need to forge forward anyway, okay? Because this is your path. This is actually what you've been working for. And they are not going to appreciate it until they see the results of it. So while you're doing it, I feel like they're not appreciating it. Other people in your life are not appreciating it. Appreciating it. They don't see your journey. They don't see where you're headed. They don't understand why you're doing what you're doing or why you are doing what you want to, to do in the future. And I think that you need to stand your ground, okay? You're the one directing the ship. You are intent on where you're going, and you know the path that you're taking, okay? You, you've, you've simply got your eye on the future. You've got your eye on the horizon, on um, the land across the river. So I, I feel like you're definitely... It's time for you to move forward, okay? Okay, so the crowning position, you're thinking about, I think you're having some doubts about um, where this is going to lead you, <laughs> okay? So you know where you want to go, but you don't know how it's going to end up. Well, this is a great new adventure for you, and the universe is saying the time is now. The star is in the universe's hand once again you're holding the cards in your hand you don't think you are you know where you want to go you just don't think that you're holding the cards in your hand you are you are so this is going to lead you to the gate and you're going to be able to enter and it doesn't mean that there's not um i feel like this is a road to be taken that doesn't isn't without obstacles, but the result is a higher, it's leveling up. The result of what you're going to do is going to level you up, okay? To, this is what I'm seeing, it's to the winner's table. It's going to bring you to the winner's table, okay? This hand that you have, you're going to win this table, and then it's going to place you at the winner's table. Okay. Wow. I Poker. I don't know why. I don't know why that's coming up. Except that if you are on my channel, we've been talking about how life is really designed to be a puzzle or a game. And the joy is in playing the game or putting the puzzle pieces together. So it's not something that we should dread or fear or doubt or hesitate about. It is something that we should look forward to with anticipation, with excitement, and say, okay, what's going to come out of, the, out of the deck next? Okay? You know what? The cards are stacked in your favor. That's what I just heard. The cards are stacked in your favor, which leads to future. Okay. So, obviously, um, the, the universe is very, very much supporting you. And this is, I feel like this is the last trump, okay? So this is the last call. 
So play your hand because everybody else is gathering at the winner's table. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to play your cards so that you can come and join them at their table. Okay? This is the last call. That's what I'm feeling with this card. Play it. Play the hand because it's bringing you into a whole new dimension. A whole new dimension. Okay? I feel like this is... Um, It's just, I think you're having to say goodbye to a couple of things, okay? And that's okay. That's okay. It's, it was meant to be. You were meant to have the things that you currently have. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you're holding this, um, these numbers, these cards in your hand, and you've been holding them for so long, that you are kind of hesitating and afraid to set them down. So this is kind of, you're feeling like there's going to be a loss if you finally relinquish these ties. Whatever you've been holding for so long and, and dear to your heart, okay? But it's part of the process. It's okay to say goodbye to something that once gave you security, okay? You hadn't played it yet and so... You had the hope that, oh, wow, I could have the winning hand. That's what it is. And then finally, the numbers are announced, right? And you see, oh, I did win. I did win in this, even though I thought that I probably, I doubted that I had the winning hand. That's, that's the story I'm getting here, okay? Very interesting. I wonder if any of you <laughs> actually play cards or know what I'm talking about here because I certainly don't know much about the poker game, but that's what I'm seeing. So we're going to pull four more cards to clarify here. Oh, okay. We've got the seven of cups. We've got the four of swords. That's an interesting one. That's in your environment. We've got the ace of cups, your hope, your hope and fears. You guys can't wait to get to that card. Okay, because that just spoke to me. And then your future position is the King of Wands. Okay, so let's talk about you again. Um, I, I feel, so here you're spoiled for choice here. Okay, so I feel like you've got, you've got a flush. That's what you've got. You've got one of every number in your hand. Okay, I, I'm hearing the phrase jack of all trades. So this means that you have multiple resources at your fingertips and you've done the work. Once again, you've done the work and you're giving yourself a, oh, it's like the world is your oyster. That's what I'm seeing. I'm actually seeing a clamshell opening up here, okay? The world is your oyster. Okay, so jump in. Jump into whatever you're thinking about here. Interesting. It's time. It's time now. And you know, I feel like you, this is what I'm feeling. I feel like, um, this, sorry, guys, but th that this is feminine. We're talking about the feminine aspects. So whether it's just females I'm speaking to or the, the feminine side of the male, okay? I feel like what you want to get into isn't typically gender rolled for females, okay? So it's almost like you're kind of bucking a trend, um, not a trend, a tradition, where whatever you want to do is typically done by the other gender, guys or girls, okay? Whatever you want to do is typically done by the other. That's why you're kind of holding this um, secret behind your back. Uh, it's almost as if traditionally it wouldn't be seen as a good fit for you. Which is why I'm now seeing a glove on that hand, okay? What the Spirit is saying is it actually fits you like a glove. It actually fits you like a glove. Okay, 
So four of swords in your environment. Yeah, seriously, I gossip. I, I think you're afraid of what other people will say or think. I think you've always put out this attitude that is really different from what you want to pr present to the world now, okay? Almost like it's a complete change. And I think it's, um, you're scared to come out of the closet. Now, this is a hypothetical closet, okay? But it has that, it has that feel to it for me. And you're afraid of the repercussions of it. Okay. There's no more time for that. There is no more time for that. This is the exact time for you to come out, for you to be who you truly are authentically. We've been talking about authenticity a lot on my channel, and this is definitely the time. Definitely. Because the world is in such an uproar, they're not even going to notice um, the strangeness. Okay? They're not even going to notice. It, it's simply so minuscule in the whole scheme of things. It's so minuscule in, in your environment right now that it, your fear is completely unfounded. It, it's barely going to pass with, an, with a glance, okay? So do it for you. Do, do it for you, literally. And then look what you're holding in your hand. It's the ace, I'm hearing it's the Trump again. Oh, no wonder. No wonder this is the last Trump. Boy, this really is about making a wager, making a bet, and playing poker. Now, poker has a, a special meaning for us on this channel, okay? It's a certain job that a angel has to do to prod the herd in the right direction. The poker angel, literally. <laughs> so maybe that resonates with you. Um, you, you've got to steer the herd in one direction or the other. And it, it, I feel like it's just a little bit of a dirty job. Okay. But it's meant for you. It's meant for you. You're holding the ace in your hand. Okay. You've got it. You've got it. So this is your hope and fear. This is your hope and you do. You're right. You're hoping for the ace. You've got the ace. Okay, so of course, this brings you to um, <laughs> I, I'm literally I'm seeing the salamander here. Now, salamanders supposedly can walk in fire, but there's also a lizard that can walk on water. And I feel. Um, and this phrase has come up for me recently too. I feel like you are the ultimate shape shifter, okay? Where I feel like you were playing this role and hiding something magical behind your back. And then you're bringing that forth now and you're just as successful in that as you were in everything else that you've done. In all of these things that you have endeavored in, okay? So now... I think you've been diverse, but I think now you're actually making a huge step in your diversity and your uniqueness, and you're, you're just, you're coming through, you're coming through the fire. You're absolutely walking on water. You're going to be absolutely fine here, okay? So you've got this tremendous power within you to be a shapeshifter. So to, to play many roles is what that means, Okay. This is your future. This is the best future that you could hope for. This is what you want. This is what you want, okay? This wand, to me, it represents um, all of your hopes and dreams and what you've been wishing for. And now you're, once again, holding it in your hand, okay? It's all related here. It's all related. That wand is your hopes and dreams, your wishes, and now you're holding that in your hand. 
Okay. Very interesting, Virgo. I, I was curious about what was going to come up for you because I, I really didn't have any intuition about you beforehand. Okay, I pick one last card, and it's from the Native Heart Healing Oracle, and it's because the symbolism and the um, colors and everything really speak to me in this deck, and what I call this is your key. It's your key to this entire reading, whether that means it's going to be the catalyst for you to do what you have to do in order to make your dreams come true, or to get to the end result, or your key focus for the month of May, okay? And there's always a card that pops out, so it's this one. Moonflower. Oh my gosh. It it couldn't be any more clear to me that this is a bit of a um, step that is a little bit askew, okay? What I feel here is this mystery and this intrigue, and it's like waiting for to see what you're going to do next waiting to see what you're going to do next okay that's what i feel with this is called the moon flower i i mean it's almost like what is that and what can contain that and and the wisdom of that and the mystery of the owl okay but not only the mystery but his ability to be that hunter and to go after his prey and to get what he wants i Um, yeah, I feel like what he is in the night is not what he portrays in the day. That's the message I just got. What he is in the nighttime is not what he portrays in the day. Okay, so this is your key. It is time to fuse the two together. Become whole. Become fully what you know you are. Okay? Play that hand. Play that hand. Okay, Virgo, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next month.